Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. Here we are outside of the Altruist camp. You can see the sun is placed perfectly, so that way we can see the jetpack symbol on the ritual stone. Recently, a lot of people have been talking about the new black cell phones number that has been found when you input the number into your cell phone, not only does it turn your phone black, but it also creates an explosion right above the head of your character. Now, because that explosion is so random, some people think that it might have something to do with an unsolved mystery here in the game. We have been trying out some things, and in this episode, let's start off here at the jetpack symbol. We've been thinking of things to do here at this rock. We've even sacrificed some characters. This time, let's input the black cell phone's number on top of the symbol. I just took away the baseball bat, but I know a lot of you guys, of course, are very familiar with this symbol. It is the exact same one that can be found in the hut there on the Mount Chiliad mural. And you do have to be here right when the sun faces towards this rock. This is the same place that, I guess, the altruist camp members kill people and then eat them. So uh, why they put the symbol there, that remains to be seen. But it is epic how the sun shines right here on the camp. I did complete the altruist camp cleared mission as Trevor, which means the altruist members are nowhere to be found in this place is a deserted ghost town. There's a lot of cryptic messages found around here. We've looked at this plenty. And even over here on this door, you can see what might be another jetpack symbol. Let's go ahead and step on the stone and ignite the jetpack symbol with the explosion overhead by using the code. I also want to point out you can use your phone while in a car. So maybe we have to use the code in the space docker while reaching 88 miles per hour. We'll also attempt that here in this episode before creating this explosion overhead. In fact, maybe we should put some gasoline here on the ritual stone just to try to create as much flammability as possible. But I do really want to thank all of you who have been part of this jetpack hunt slash Chiliad mystery search. We've had a lot of episodes as part of this Jetpack Hunter series. You know, we want to look into a bunch of mysteries in a lot of games, but for us, this is the biggest mystery I've ever come across. And the fact that it's unsolved this far into the game's release, there's been so many doubters. There's been whole channels here on YouTube coming out saying the Chiliad mystery is over, but we still come through with these new discoveries. And the last one, of course, being this black cell phone's number. We aren't totally convinced that it is part of the Chiliad mystery or one of the other unsolved mysteries. It seems like there is a few in the game. Hell, why is the jetpack symbol in the Ultra's camp of all places? What a weird location to find it. I still believe there is still something to find here in this village. Even this little, uh, this little mountaintop here with the, looks like some sort of shed with satellites and equipment, all that, it must have some sort of meaning. That said, in this episode, I do want to concentrate for now on the black cell phone's secret phone number, and then also combine it with, of course, the 80 mile per hour theory with the space docker. Hopefully, they all have something to do with one another, and maybe we can actually cause something to happen here. Dial in the black cell phone's number. There you see it. And here we go. Uh, let's let's uh, enter first person mode with our cell phone out. Look straight up into the sky and dial the number. Really can't see it too well. There's the smoke. Yes, we have caused a fire. Into the fire, Franklin. Hopefully we can get back up in time. No, the fire has already been extinguished. 
and uh, still nothing is here. Something tells me maybe we can actually get underneath the stone. Perhaps there's something or some way to make the stone disappear in general. We've tried sacrificing here and uh, still nothing. Both animals and humans, by the way. Let's move on. Let's hop in the space docker. Try to reach 88 miles per hour. One of the first things we looked at when we first got the space docker here in this version of the game is to see if it has an odometer. Unfortunately, it does not. So we cannot see if we officially reach 88 miles per hour. We're going to have to guess, just get as fast as possible on a runway. And then as we're going at top speed, dial in the code here in our now black cell phone. You can see how it is maybe slightly bigger, uh, different font there. You got black and gray. Why that would be such a top secret code to make your phone black, you know, I'm not too sure about that. Let me know if you guys do have any ideas on why we do need a black cell phone. To me, it reminds me of something perhaps in the X-Files. Of course, the X-Files now coming back. Maybe they need, they need us to do something with the black cell phone. We've speculated contacting the UFOs with the cell phones in the past. And there are some clues to let us know that maybe that is something they want us to do. Perhaps this black cell phone is exactly what we need to use in that process. That said, here we are on the highway. We've made it down <laughs> in one piece. Uh, we do have to enter the code one more time before we can cause the explosion the black cell phone's number. That time it'll do nothing, but the next time we input the code, we, uh, we will cause the explosion. If you guys remember Back to the Future, when they reach 88 miles per hour, they need the lightning strike to hit the space docker. We've tried that many times here at Trippy Commentaries. We've tried to get hit by lightning at 88 miles per hour. Maybe we don't need the lightning bolt per because we can cause the explosion ourselves with the new black cell phone cheat or a secret number. Let's try this out. We can go into the Franklin special ability at the same time as well. Let's get as fast as possible. It's going to be crucial that I do not hit any cars because that will slow us down big time. And uh, we do have a little bit of a turn, so I think I'm going to wait till after this turn to slingshot and reach top velocity as we, uh, we get closer to Fort Zancudo. In fact, maybe Fort Zancudo is the place that we should reach 88 miles per hour. Definitely give me a heads up if you have the best location. And we've tried many here at the channel. We've tried on the railroad track as seen in Back to the Future 3. Here we go. And we are in. Damn, got some pretty good air that time around. It's time to get as close as we possibly can to 88 miles per hour. Book it, Franklin. Special ability. This will cause us to go even faster, even though it might not look like that. Fort Zancudo does look epic with the, uh, the special ability of Franklin activated. You get some, uh, get some better sight. You can see well into the, the distance there. All right, outside. Here we go, guys. Enter the code. Black cell phones. And it looks like we might have been going too fast for the code. The explosion should have happened there, but we did not see it. I'll go ahead and enter it two times here real quickly as I escape from the, uh, the military. And uh, we'll try one more time in stationary position, unfortunately. Looks like when going fast, you can't even see the explosion too much. It'll happen behind you. We did see didn't look like anything happened. Maybe we were not going fast enough. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so the black cell phone's code is back in the cell phone. Let's head out to the uh, mysterious bunker here in Fort Zancudo. It is late, not quite time for the abduction beam to show down, but we can still head over there. Maybe hunker down. Whoa, we got tanks. Activate Franklin's ability. 
Might be our only chance to sneak by. As I gotta say, it really hasn't been too tough to act up to this point. Looks like all that is changing right about now. Watch out. All right, in front of the bunker. Input the code, black cell phones. Interesting, no explosion overhead, guys. Hmm, don't know what to say. I guess it's not happening in the vehicle at all, after all. We still have a lot to uh, check out when it comes to the black cell phones. An explosion overhead, but I haven't got it to work inside the car. So let me know if you guys have anything to add to that. And uh, we'll definitely bring you more experiments, that's for sure. Thanks again for joining up for the episode, guys. I really do think we have to do something more with these black cell phones. Maybe the explosion is just a diversion, or maybe it all ties together. We'll keep you updated here at Trippy Commentaries. And we do have some other episodes coming at you when it comes to the Chiliad Mystery. I'll be teaming up with some other members of the team. I'll have a bunch of episodes for you guys. Perhaps 2016 is the year we solve the Chiliad Mystery. I'll catch you guys very soon. Until then, as always, stay trippy, my friends.